Developing now, a strategic cleanup effort is underway in Tarpon Springs after a shrimp boat fire. Yeah, at this very hour, the U.S. Coast Guard tells us it is likely diesel fuel is still spilling from that badly damaged boat nearly 24 hours after the blaze. Our Ashley Glass is live in Tarpon Springs tonight. And Ashley, that badly damaged boat still sitting there right behind you. Removing this burnt out boat is taking a back seat right now. The priority is containing what's in the water. A lot of spilled diesel fuel. The Coast Guard says they have to contain it and get rid of it. That work is going on now. As you are about to see and only see on ABC Action News, all that spilled diesel fuel is making a disgusting mess. the flames oh my God. then the damage left behind this exclusive look from viewer cell video shows the charred sky marie sue harris's old wooden shrimp boat it's hard seeing your livelihood burn up as fire investigators are still trying to figure out how the sky marie caught fire wednesday night spilling diesel fuel and sparking a string of little fires atop the water something that most of us probably have never seen in our career the coast guard is heading up the job to clean up the spill the sky marie had just been topped off with 5,000 gallons of diesel before it ignited, all that fuel still seeping from the boat. The sun is our greatest ally right now. It's actually burning it off for us. Faint sheens of fuel floating right at the surface, globs of it up against the docks. And this view, the closest yet to the pollution, staring straight down into newly tinted waters. It looks terrible because it is red. The Coast Guard describes the impact as minimal because the spill is contained by these booms. Mats now soaking up the fuel and a skimmer on the way. It's a piece of oil removing equipment. It'll actually speed up the process because right now what we have going is it's a little too slow. We're looking live as many Coast Guard members are still at work right now and this update just coming in for them. The Coast Guard tells me as of right this minute 1500 gallons of spilled diesel has been sopped up. We should also point out that these waterways are open. We've been seeing boats pass in and out and also the beloved sponge merchants just around the corner from here. They are open for business too. Live in Tarpon, Ashley Glass, ABC Action News.